I and new tonight at five. The city of Buckeye says their water is secure despite a recent state study. Our Christine Stanwood sitting down one on one with Buckeye's mayor. I'm hearing from neighbors. Hey, are, are we out of water? They're coming and asking me that or or I have friends that live halfway across the country calling and saying what's going on in Buckeye? Are you guys out of water? Uh, and, and nothing could be further from the truth. Buckeye's it's, mayor it's Eric incredible. Orsborne says water in his city is secure and not in danger. This is despite a study just released by Governor Katie Hobbs following her state of the state. The Arizona Department of Water Resources found the Hasayampa Sub Basin, Buckeye's main source of water, is short more than 4 million acre feet for future development. Experts telling ABC 15 there's not enough groundwater in that basin for more building. What the report says is if we take a very static approach, approach, not bringing new waters into the city of Buckeye, into the Hacienda Basin, uh, that we run out of, uh, we run uh, about 15% short in 100 years at full build out. We're taking a very dynamic approach in bringing in waters like you had talked about, the Harquahela Basin or uh, NIA water, non-Indian agriculture water through the Colorado uh, or CAP. Uh, or recharging and, uh, and that dynamic approach of managing that basin uh, means that the residents have nothing to fear. The goal? To grow their water portfolio. We closed last month, so... Alexis Conrad lives in a new Buckeye development. She's also a real estate agent. While she hasn't heard concerns from her clients, it's something she's keeping an eye on. I think that we just have to adapt. I think that this is going on in other states that don't get as much water um, and they're used to it, so... I think it's just something that we may have to adapt to as the weather changes down here. In Buckeye, Christine Stanwood, ABC 15, Arizona.